Alright, so I ended up accidentally pressing stop instead of pause, but I'm up here now. Um, the placing of these hopefully allows the tree to heal. I've got a couple of those types of decisions right now to make on this. Um, but I know one of them, almost for sure. Right up here, which is, you know, the apex, the crown of the tree, right? Um, highest point, the topmost growth node is right there. I guess I could try to zoom in on that. I'm on the uh, second to last rung on this ladder, and it's a little wobbly, so I mean, I could risk it, but I already have a leg that is barely healing from having been broken against my will. Um, you know, do I get a cop badge? Do I get a sheriff's badge for doing that? Getting my leg broken? Didn't think so. Um, so, this part, this growth right here is clearly stronger. So much glare. Clearly stronger than this right here. And that's strong, they're both stronger than what continues further up. So I will go ahead and I'll remove that. First, I'm going to remove that one. See? Gone. And see how, you know, the wound on the tree doesn't have to be. This, this big old thing that's harder to heal. You get it early, it doesn't even have to be this much right here. All right, here I'm removing this whole thing right there, which leaves a rough spot right there, possible site for infection, that sort of thing, pests, what have you. Focus. No, don't focus on the tree in the background. Foreground. See that rough? But, but all that right there did something for the tree's hormones. And now, hopefully, that benefits what I will choose instead to grow those were too close you see that one was right there and that one was right there not only is the next one higher up it's closer to this wound from before really close so maybe hopefully that means it'll help heal it by directing so much growth towards itself it'll flow It'll increase the flow there. Um, Alright, so I'm going to put this knife away. Okay. And now, try to remove that. Alright. see that didn't hold a candle to that growth right there so it's just it's, it's wasting the tree's time and energy to have it up at the top you can tell where it started to die from the cold and the dry and I mean the weather fluctuations recently in general you know it's gotten hot it's gotten cold it's gotten rainy there's been hail that sort of thing right so there that should be more efficient uh, now, I will pause, I'll make a point not to fuck up the button pushing, but so that you can see it before and after, uh, same day. Huh.
careful not to run over one of the dog turds from right next door. Anyway, so, um, yeah, that's a little clustered, that growth right there, but I was able to thin that out a lot, and right now I don't know if it would be best to remove this right here over these two and the old, older growth, this segment right here up until my, right there including this and this. Uh, they seem pretty strong, but this is clearly being favored in terms of, uh, in terms of strength. Uh, the tree is, um, that's the, that's the highest point right there. So all the, all the growth hormones to treat it like a lead branch, that's that right there. That's, that's it for this tree, um, for this year at least. Um, I think maybe I'll leave that. I'll leave that as it is, um, you know, uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe I can remove this right there, I don't know, should I? Should I? Should I? I think it will. And that's it for removing stuff up here for now. <sighs> that's uh. That's all. That needed to go. <coughs> didn't fall on my ass. Didn't die. Could have been safer. But then maybe it wouldn't have gotten fucking done. Cause you know how that goes. Next up, that tree. Check out how much red there is in the leaves. I mean, it looks a little awkward, the growth, but I mean, it will, it will improve. It does improve. Might even look better, you know, than just leaving it alone and letting the neighborhood cats run all over it and the cars smash up against it and that sort of thing. But uh, for now, it's done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get down off of here. <sighs> lovely, lovely.